So MMA Architects is a company based in Athlone, an architectural company. Um, there's a, with a good length of history in that the, I joined personally in 2011, but the company had been going previously. Um, a large portion of our work is, is, is domestic. It's, it's small scale, it's houses, primarily bespoke houses. Uh, high performance houses is another aspect of the work in the sense that um, we, um, we have a policy or we have a strategy with all clients to max um, specification on a build where we can because um, essentially you're trying to uh, make a lifetime home. So we need to be up to spec and beyond spec in most cases. I'd say from 2012, we started using the product, you know, maybe even sooner with a couple of the guys. And it was an attractive system in many ways because it provided a, a solution to a perennial problem in terms of um, thermal bridging and uh, performance. In that there's a lot of, lot of heat escaping in the ground and it's largely or would have in the past been ignored. Now, regs have caught up, but uh, you certainly have a situation where um, start from the ground and start right from the ground and if you work on that principles when you're getting above ground and you continue it but you have to start on a good principle and the system provides a good principle um, in terms of um, a thermal bridge free technique of building. Uh, there's a couple of hurdles you've got to go through with clients in especially in the West Mead area because um, you're talking about rafts and rafts are traditionally an expensive build, at least in the psyche of people, it's an expensive build. You can go down the road of a traditional foundations, et cetera, et cetera. But there's an, there's an inherent advantage in this. Try to explain those advantages and uh, show, show the benefits of them as a, as a sort of a complete system that goes back to the engineering, right? Where you've got a, a sign off in terms of um, uh, the buildability and is it sort of a tie-in. Now, um, our understanding or what's borne out to be true is whether you go with the, if you go with the, the RAF system or you go with a stiff foundation, keeping them, because say we're on good ground, so a stiff foundation will be okay. It's relatively cost comparable. It's not a significant or any overlay in terms of cost. Um, you just box a little bit differently in the sense that there's less block work, there's less labor, there's less uh, on-site work is simpler. Um, there's a trade-off with the engineering, yet there's an engineering cost in designing it, but that's when you tie it all together and you do the economics on it, it um, works out as a competitive system that ultimately, like I said before, gives you a good start. Obviously, it works in different kinds of ground conditions as well, but primarily it's a, it's a, it's a performance-based system. And it's not a hard sell, really, with people. You basically say, look, this is a good system. Look at the, I mean, you've got a good, um, Back, a good sort of setup on videos and tutorials and examples and we have a, obviously a backlog of work so um, yeah it's not a it's not a difficult thing to go through well I suppose the best way of describe I've got a um, I've got an externally insulated block on the flat house um, the insulation is on the underside of, of the raft it wraps around and it hits the insulation on the walls. And then that hits over after uh, cool thermal insulation on the roof. So effectively, barring the windows, I have a completely blanketed house. So from a, from a, I suppose from a performance of what do I, what's my experience is I have a very high performing house and the floor is part of that. Someone starts talking high performance as a primary goal for their house or high energy efficiency, then you immediately start about the system. You can go with strict foundations and blah, blah, blah. But if you're looking at, if that's, what, if that's a client requirement, and more often than not it is, it's not, it's very rare to give a client, it's, ah, I'll be fine, I don't need it. Uh, it's a flexible system, so it's elastic in the sense that it can shift to different shapes because it can, it can mold to whatever shape we're providing this there's there's less we're not we're not actually consciously thinking of what the limitations of the system are because there aren't really limitations
it's all about speed, right? So um, the the insulated system basically means you're not it's a raft system. So you're not digging down too far. Uh, you're not you have a lot of trench work. You're doing a lot of labour. You um, you box clever by. Uh, um, I think the biggest tricks with with the system is to be able to close in like the edges of a jigsaw, close in the edges with boarding or hoarding or um, see people do it with concrete, uh, where they where they um, put the corners in of the foundation and fill inside. So you you've got to you got to you still have to set it out like you do everything else, but ultimately it's speed and um, it's very quick once you're used to it. And so it's a lot quicker, I would suggest than um, other traditional means. The other advantage in a way is that you are insulating your floor early. You're not having to do, you can do a two stage if you wish. You can do the insulation on the, the slab and then a second layer of insulation, but it's unnecessary. Um, you can go with a single pour and that's your floor if you like. The system itself is a, is a um, is an isolated system in that it's the, the foundation design and the, um, the, the rebar, the concrete strength, the concrete depth, that's all coming from the engineer to decide on. And then that's signed off and certified by the engineer at the end of the day. So it is a um, uh, complete system in that it, it's been designed, it's been inspected and then been certified. In terms of people who have concerns, it is a, it is a it is a package, and it is signed off and it is certified at the end. Do you have the confidence in having that together as a as a as a package that you can then go up afterwards? And it's the most important element of the build. If the foundation is wrong, it doesn't matter how nice the house is, <laughs> it will collapse. So. Um, it has to be right, it can't be wrong, and it has to be certified, it has to be a good product, you know, obviously a, a certified product, and um, uh, with certification at the end by the engineer who's designed it, by the team that's designed it, you know, so we do get that, so it is, it is a complete system. I, I would stress that it is important to include the, the, the um, uh, site investigations as part of the job as well. From a multiple unit point of view, is if if you have, um, you know, a housing scheme with ten or more units, you can, yeah, you can just work your way across and do your foundations as you go. So it's 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 not terribly complicated. It is fairly simple, and um, you can get up you can get up off the ground fairly quickly, and at the same time be have that element complete. 